the Select Shape tool. This tool allows us to select the shape and we can then edit the style for the shape. So when I select it, you'll see it has this checkerboard pattern showing that it's selected. Go up to the style window and I change the color from red to yellow. Click here in my color picker, find yellow, drag it around and click OK. There we go, we have a yellow star. Now we'll go up and select this circle and let's change the fill. Well, let's leave the blue fill and change the stroke on this one. Let's change it to red. And the second bar on the right here is the transparency. You can see up in the corner, it's seeing through to the checkerboard pattern. So as you drag up and down, the top is um, zero transparent, and at the bottom it will be 100% transparent. let's change the width and make it thicker on this circle so I have a mouse with a scroll wheel in the middle and the nice thing with these text input fields is that you can scroll to increase or decrease the value here so I just scrolled to increase the value there's other effects we can apply here as well all of this gets applied to the style of the shape that you have selected All of these parameters can be animated, so if you go down to the timeline and start moving through the timeline, you can animate each of these. And there were some basics on the Select Shape tool.